Hi everybody, it's Red. I have been working on these cute little trees for a show I'm doing and I thought that I would show you how to do them. Uh, they're really quick and really easy and I'm going to run through this very quickly. I've included the materials in the comment box below the video so you don't have to hear me read through them and you can just decide what you want to use in yours. Let's get started. I'm going to move my camera so that you can see the table and I'm trying not to make you seasick. I am really sorry if I do. Alrighty, hopefully you can see my space. First of all, you need a template. You're gonna need your triangle. And I drew mine on thin cardstock. and just made a triangle the size I wanted. Then you're gonna need your fabric. You're gonna double your fabric over, right sides together, wrong sides facing out and you're going to pin it so that it's all pinned together then you're going to lay your template out on top of your fabric and pin it down so that it doesn't move when you are sewing or when you are cutting a little trick that i did is to take my ruler and line it up on top of my template i had lined it up with the line here and drew my cutting mark so that I have a built-in seam allowance and I don't have to try to add that in my head when I'm cutting. Then I cut out my triangles. And you've got them cut out here. This is when you need your sewing machine. So I brought out my sewing machine. I zipped around the sides. I start at the bottom, go around, up, down, around leaving about an inch and a half in the center not sewn i also turned it around and stitch across the top so that i don't have a point i have a blunt edge here and i brought it down about a quarter of an inch from the top of my point my sewn point and stitched it flat there then you want to turn it inside out and the easiest way I found to do that is to stick my fingers inside of the hole and like a sock, just kind of ruffle it up onto my fingers until I get as close to the point as I can get, grab it and pull it through the hole. And then you can work your sides through the same way. And once you've got it inside out, or, you know, right side out, I guess, for the most part here, then you can take your dowel and don't use a pencil or pen for this because if your fabrics are delicate at all, you will go right through them. So just be careful on that one. I use a dowel, a little dowel, and just push, push, push until I get everything turned out so that I don't have any fabric stuck in there. And I should have said this before, but make sure you trim your corners so that you don't have fabric bunched up. And if you do, when you turn it inside out, you can just push your corners back out real quick and um, trim it so that you're real close to your stitches. Then you're gonna wanna take your fiber fill. And I take a tiny little piece of fiber fill and put it in and then push it into place with my stick. I didn't get it far enough in. But you're gonna push it into the very point with your stick because you want your corner filled up so that you don't have a floppy corner. Um, your tree will look a little, a little sad if the corners are flat and the rest of the tree is stuffed. And you don't wanna stuff the tree as full as like maybe a pillow or something. You don't want it to be this isn't a, a project where you want to see how much fiber fill you can fit in there. Um, but, you know, you want it to be firm so that if it settles over the years or whatever, it's still, you know, going to be nice and, and hold its shape. So then you're stuffing your tree and putting in the fiber fill once you get your corners done. And do the same for all three corners. And you're just going to keep pushing in the fiber fill and fill it up until you end up with this. So I've got a nice, firm, fluffy tree. My dowels are all being painted gold, but you could use, you know, 
plain. You could use whatever you'd like. And I'm using Tinker Toys for the shorter ones. And you could do that too. Um, you want to push your dowel up all the way to the top of your tree. And you're going through the center of your fiber fill, through the center of your tree. So you're straight in line and you're in the middle so you, that your stick isn't touching your fabric. You want it to be padded on both sides or all sides. So once you're in there, you're going to hold this closed. And this is where you can decide if you want to sew or if you want to use a glue gun. I've done both where you can see the bottom of the tree. I like to sew where the bottom of the tree is hidden, like I did a ruffle or something. The glue doesn't really show, so it doesn't matter. Just, just up to you. But I did a ladder stitch on mine. I closed it up on one side to the middle point. Then I closed it up on the other side. Just stitch, just stitch around the stick. And then pull your stick out. And what I did was put a little teeny pencil mark so I could know where the end was. I pulled it out a little bit, put the glue at my pencil mark and pushed it back into the fabric so that the hot glue just seals that hole just to keep the stick from coming out. And if you like, if you can do it carefully, because I've had mishaps with it, put some hot glue or regular fabric glue or whatever on your stick before you push it into your fiber fill and that'll help it cling inside. But it, it's just, if you push it all the way to the top, that should be sufficient and use that little bit of glue here at the very bottom just to keep it in place and be sure that that's sealed closed and then you decide what kind of base you want to put on your tree I used a uh, little wheel from Tinker Toys from a vintage set I had but you could use whatever and you might want to put one more larger circle on the bottom just to keep them from being tippy because they're wide and, you know, on the right tabletop, they might stay or they might get rocked. So just a thought there, but you can use whatever fabrics you have in your stash. And if you wanted, you could get really fancy and decorate your triangles before you sew them together and add buttons or pearls or Whatever you'd like to do, just jazz it up a little bit. I kind of like the simple, letting the fabric speak for itself, but you could, you know, jazz it up however you'd like to do. So anyway, I hope this was inspiring. I hope it helps. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and let me know if you like the video. And subscribe and we can do some more things together. And I hope that you have happy crafting. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care.